Australia's growing investment in unmanned maritime systems has taken a tangible and operationally significant form in the deployment of the Blue Bottle Uncrewed Surface Vessel Platform. Developed domestically by Oceus Technology, the Blue Bottle has evolved from a promising prototype into a frontline asset that is beginning to reshape how Australia monitors, patrols, and defends its maritime approaches. The system's recent operational record speaks to its maturity. Four Blue Bottles deployed by the Maritime Border Command have already logged over 23,000 nautical miles in Western Australian waters, operating continuously for a month at a time. During one such mission across two marine sanctuaries, the USVs detected 19 vessels engaged in illegal activity. The deterrent effect was immediate. By the following weekend, not a single violation was recorded. This is not simply an efficiency upgrade. It is a quiet but profound shift in the way Australia projects surveillance power over its sprawling maritime domain. What sets the Blue Bottle apart is its combination of persistence, autonomy, and self-sufficiency. Harnessing solar, wind, and wave energy, the USV can remain at sea for weeks without the logistical tether of fuel resupply. This endurance makes it ideally suited to the unique demands of Australia's maritime geography, where vast distances and low population density conspire to make traditional manned patrols costly and resource-intensive. For a country with the third largest exclusive economic zone in the world, the ability to maintain a constant distributed presence is no minor advantage. It is the difference between episodic monitoring and true continuous situational awareness. The Blue Bottle, in effect, turns geography from a liability into an asset, allowing Australia to extend its watch across the Indian and Pacific Oceans without draining the budgets and endurance of manned platforms. The Royal Australian Navy has recognized this potential and moved beyond the initial border protection and marine park enforcement roles, integrating the platform into its broader defense posture. Naval variants of the Blue Bottle are now being trialed with advanced payloads for anti-submarine warfare and underwater surveillance, most notably through a partnership with U.S. firm Thayer Mahan. This collaboration has yielded the Outpost TM-01, a persistent, unmanned acoustic surveillance vessel based on the Blue Bottle hull. Outfitted with passive acoustic systems, the outpost offers the ability to deploy covert long-endurance underwater listening posts in key maritime choke points or high-threat zones, directly complementing Australia's undersea warfare capabilities. Such assets have clear application under the AUKUS security framework particularly its Pillar 2 focus on advanced autonomous systems. In strategic terms, they represent a distributed resilient network of underwater ears that complicates adversary submarine operations and enhances Australia's deterrence posture. The flexibility of the Blue Bottle platform lies not just in its endurance, but in its modularity. Trials in San Diego have already demonstrated the vessel's ability to integrate new payloads quickly, such as Thayer Mahan's Outpost Passive Sonar Array with live data relay sustained over five days of offshore operations. This capability transforms the USV from a niche surveillance tool into a multi-role force multiplier. In peacetime, Blue Bottles can enforce fisheries protection, monitor environmental compliance, and provide maritime domain awareness in remote areas. In crisis or conflict, they can transition seamlessly into naval tasking, serving as pickets, intelligence collectors, or even decoys, extending the sensor reach of larger surface combatants while keeping human crews far from the threat envelope. The political and strategic implications of this capability are significant the Indo-Pacific is entering an era of intensified strategic competition, and Australia's maritime security challenges are expanding in both scope and complexity. Illegal fishing fleets, grey zone maritime militia activity, and submarine incursions all place strain on the ADF's finite resources. 
The Blue Bottle provides a politically palatable and cost-effective means of extending Australia's surveillance and deterrence network without triggering the escalation risks associated with deploying major warships. Indeed, in some contexts, the very fact that Blue Bottles are uncrewed is an asset. They can operate in contested or diplomatically sensitive areas without the political cost of risking sailors' lives, a fact not lost on Canberra's defence planners. Operation Resolute, Australia's primary maritime security mission, has already integrated the Blue Bottle into its operational framework, with the RAN extending its contract with OSEAS through 2025. This decision reflects not only confidence in the system's technical performance, but also a recognition that unmanned platforms must now be embedded into the daily fabric of maritime defense. As ADF doctrine evolves, the Blue Bottle's success is likely to influence thinking on force structure, potentially paving the way for a layered fleet where high-end warships, crewed patrol vessels, and persistent unmanned systems each play interlocking roles. Critically, the deployment of Blue Bottles addresses a core Australian strategic problem, the tyranny of distance. Unlike smaller maritime powers whose security zones are compact and easily patrolled, Australia faces the challenge of monitoring thousands of kilometres of coastline and vast swathes of open ocean. Traditional solutions, more frigates, more patrol boats, are not only expensive but also slow to scale. The Blue Bottle sidesteps this by providing a scalable, relatively low-cost network of persistent sentinels. In doing so, it also alters the strategic calculus for any adversary considering covert or coercive activity in Australian waters. The message is clear, intrusion will be detected, and detection will trigger a response, whether in the form of interdiction, public exposure, or political signalling. There are, of course, limitations to consider. While the Blue Bottle's sensors and endurance are formidable, it is not a substitute for the mobility, firepower, or complex decision-making capabilities of crewed platforms. It is a sensor and deterrent, not a shooter. Its communications links, like all unmanned systems, could be targeted in an electronic warfare environment. And its resilience to physical interference, whether by hostile state actors, criminal organizations, or even severe weather, remains a point of operational scrutiny. Yet these challenges are not disqualifying. They are the natural constraints of a system designed to complement, not replace, the existing fleet. Australia's embrace of the Blue Bottle reflects a broader trend among advanced militaries towards distributed maritime operations. The United States Navy's distributed maritime operations concept the UK's experimentation with uncrewed surface and subsurface assets, and Japan's investment in autonomous maritime surveillance all point to a future in which the oceans are monitored and patrolled by a mesh of persistent networked sensors, many of them unmanned. In this context, the Blue Bottle positions Australia not as a follower but as a leader with an indigenous platform already delivering real-world results. The strategic value of this leadership extends beyond defense. The export potential for a proven self-sustaining USV is considerable, especially among Indo-Pacific partners facing similar surveillance and enforcement challenges. By leveraging Blue Bottle not just as a domestic capability but as a tool of defense diplomacy, Australia could deepen security ties and contribute to a more resilient regional security architecture. This would align neatly with Canberra's stated goal of strengthening collective deterrence in the Indo-Pacific, especially in the face of an increasingly assertive Chinese maritime posture. In sum, the Blue Bottle USV has moved from the margins of Australian defence planning to its operational core in certain mission sets, proving its worth as a persistent maritime guardian. Its success underscores the reality that in modern maritime strategy, presence no longer needs to be measured solely in terms of hulls and crews at sea. The future of Australian maritime security will likely be hybrid, 
blending the endurance and reach of unmanned platforms with the versatility and striking power of crewed vessels. In that future, the Blue Bottle's wake will be among the first and most important signs of change, quiet, sustained, and strategically decisive.